So from our brood, which is really close, it's like a couple miles away to one mile, two miles away. Mm -hmm. We want to take this one, this road 107k, which I believe it's a Trans Trasco. And there's also, this is the way to Detonatele, which is a natural reservation, uh, conservation area, blah, blah, blah. We can see here Museum, Buchumanilor Museum. Okay, what else? This is uh, Mogos, also it's uh, like a more famous, I believe, village babe. So this, this uh, road should be very, very picturesque and full of uh, villages, valleys, nice hills, you know, traditional mm -hmm. villages. Yeah. Uh, which we shall see about. We initially planned this morning to visit the mining museum at Roshia Montana, but you can only do so with a guide and you have to pay for filming. And, and also you need to wait until five people are gathered. It's a group of five people, otherwise you need to pay, if you want to go for, you need to pay extra one extra more ticket. Yes, you can do as well. You could also do this just as a couple. It's not that it, it's expensive, it's 20 lei, it's like four euro per person, you know? It's not expensive, but no. anyway, we, we decided not to do it because of the thing with the guy. He talks uh, Romanian, obviously only Romanian. Then we have to do it in okay. English. Yeah. Yes, and then we'll be uh, voices too. Yes. So, no, no, we decided not to do it. Mm -hmm. Instead, better, we are doing this road. Yes, better stay on the road where yeah. the motorcycles should be anyway. Yeah. Let's explore a little bit this area. Mm. See how people live here. It's the same smell they were fresh. Mm-hmm. Hot Cut. dress and hay, you know, dry hay. Yeah, this, yeah. This is literally one of my favorite scents in the world. I have a perfume which has a, an incredible natural smelling hay note. Mm -hmm. it, it was the first niche perfume I ever bought. <laughs> and it's a, it's a famous one in community. It's called Shergu from Serge Luton. Yeah. Oh, my days. So every time I smell dry hay i remember of uh, that perfume, that perfume. <laughs> and i also i wear it at home pretty uh, often mm -hmm. after showering because i want to smell that yeah it smells so good i love love this smell today they said uh, on the on the weather i think yeah that are chances of rain. Yeah, but uh, more in the afternoon, basically, so mm -hmm. shouldn't impact us. Yeah. The weather That's is impeccable. Cool. Mm -hmm. Now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it changed again because yesterday it, it showed many, many days with uh, chances of rain, and now it, show, it shows again that will be sunny next coming day so mm -hmm. yeah that's good but, yeah we'll be on our way anyway tomorrow yeah yesterday we had the best day here so <laughs> i love where we stay at this uh, cabin uh, mm -hmm. cabin yeah which we it's ran it's so quiet exactly and so much peace Oh my god, I would come here just to relax, you know? It's so exactly. much peace, nobody, nobody, it's just the birds and nature. It's and very it's not... rare when some people pass. Mm -hmm. 
and it's not that far from civilization, which is cool, because the markets are not that far. There was a spring, baby, you saw it? No, 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 I didn't see it. No. Oh, babe, but I already love this road. And the landscape, oh. Yeah. It's incredible, this is. It's peaceful. I, I don't know if this uh, is part, this road is any section of it, is part of TET uh, trail, but it is not, you should uh, do it anyway, guys. Look at it, look how beautiful it is. Mm -hmm. TET baby, it's Trans uh, Euro Trail. It's a mm -hmm. trail uh, for motorcyclists, adventure riders. Mm -hmm. It's designed uh, through all of Europe, and each country has uh, its uh, own trail, yeah. you know. So, and you can do, yeah, you just uh, download the, uh, the GPX file and then upload it in, in your GPS. And then you, you are good to go. You can do whatever you want. You can do section of it, you know. Mm -hmm. So this cool organization beat this, and it's yeah. for free. You can donate something, you know, to f support this kind of um, activity. But yeah, I did. So you know that's why we met that uh, Belgian guy mm -hmm. on, on Africa Twin in Maramures because. It starts in Romania, in Maramures, in that area, you know? Yeah. And it ends in the south, uh, close to the border with Serbia. Mm -hmm. There's two variants of it, but anyway, yeah. And it crosses pretty much all the uh, mountains and, uh, you know, hilly, mount uh, hilly side of Romania. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah, maybe we'll do it one day. Yeah, who knows? Yeah. It's about, I don't know, in Romania, 2000 and something like that. Around 2000 mm -hmm. kilometers. Mm -hmm. well, basically, one week of riding. Yeah. If you, if you go a decent uh, rhythm pace, you know, not to rush. Mm -hmm. And not you know, very slow either. Yeah. Holy uh, moly, what's happening here? Just I go, go, know. go. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's hope it's open. What the hell? Yeah, they are working on the street. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, okay, oh okay, doing okay. measurements. Yes, yes, so they are. Oh. So soon the fund will be ready. And yeah. This road won't be any more that attractive if they put trash asphalt on it mm -hmm. but in the same time will be attractive to the other type of uh, motorcyclists you know of course mm -hmm. because then you can use any motorcycle comfortably mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. the asphalt yeah maybe this is the reason why this one is not that famous because it's in bad shape <laughs> uh -huh, probably yeah no, oh ships on goats goats ships everything, everything yeah okay make sure you don't hit one. <laughs> oh, there's so many of them yeah look at this one so beautiful <laughs> <laughs> oh big a river yeah, always a valley. Yeah, it's cool. Now starting to be better, the view. Mm -hmm. I love opens. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Now Trans Ursaya also mm -hmm. opens, but only mm -hmm. towards the end, you know, mm -hmm. when you get out of the mountains and... Uh-oh. -uh. So, oh. which one yeah, is the left, left, the left. museum? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Left, babe, because mm -hmm. I, I can see more. Oh, gosh. We, we are uh, on the main road. 
Yeah. We have to reach Mogosh. Mm -hmm. I reckon there, uh, there in Mogosh will be very interesting to to stop for us and maybe explore. We'll see what what it offers when we get there. Yeah, we'll do. If uh, something is interesting, definitely we will stop. Mm -hmm. For the sake of video and even more so for us, we decide to take this road that says the uh, closed road, Drumunkis. Let's go, babe. Because according to Google Maps, it takes us uh, to the same place in Mogosh. We should end up. So we are leaving the main road for this section. It's only uh, a small section. Probably the other side of the hill. Exactly, yeah. This is all about the boat. But mm -hmm. uh, it's definitely more spectacular. Yeah. Because it's uh, the view, it's not, uh, how Obstructed. you say, mm -hmm. the destroyed but by the trees. Yeah, obstructed, it's open. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. Let's see why they put that closed. Closed road, we don't know. Yeah. Maybe, you know, maybe it's destroyed, maybe something happened. Huh? Or probably in some parts the asphalt is finished, we don't know. By the way, I forgot to uh, say that, but you guys could see it in the video that that sign which road closed. Mm -hmm. It was like a local sign. Yeah, someone uh, did it. It's not like it's an official road sign. Yeah. yeah. It was handwritten and yeah. plank of wood. wood, so yeah, nothing official. Probably they don't want tourists here. Uh, no, we don't know. They, yeah, we don't know. Well, maybe yeah, they they don't want traffic. Who knows? Who knows? Let's see. Okay. Dangerous curve. It will be something, babe, to get almost to the center of the village and then turn around. <laughs> <laughs> Not that would matter to us because the road is very, very beautiful to drive onto. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's still not closing this road. Yeah. <laughs> wow, such a big house here for what? Yeah. Probably uh, people have here some jobs or I don't know. Yeah, I don't think so. It's or just, or just the usual. have memories. Yeah, just the usual guy who works abroad ah. for 15, 20 years, he builds a home back in Romania and hoping that his children one day yeah, will take care of him, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's the, the usual. Usual things what happens in Romania. Yeah. Oh, almost falling. Say again. <laughs> almost falling. Wow. A day without falling, it's a losing day. Yes. <laughs> it's a day not worth living, babe. No. <laughs> <laughs> a day without breaking any leg or, I don't know, any arm. It's a day not worth living. Yeah, we should uh, remain to the motorcycle parts. That's how <laughs> we, we won't advance to the body parts. 
So you you're broke the, the clutch lever? Yeah. Now you broke the brake lever? Yeah. Okay, so what's next? The mirror. No, I broke no. it. Yeah, but it was the same fall. Yeah? <laughs> same. The leg, my leg, I destroy it, but not from the speed. I felt uh, not having just a little bit of speed, like five kilometers an hour. But every time the the pedal, or how you call it, mm -hmm. uh, touch my leg and uh, I had a really bad injury there, but now it's almost gone, so what's next? Little, little. Uh, we don't know. Experience but... is building, though. <laughs> yes, exactly. uh, I would not like to have this house in here, because if people test, all the dust it's yes, that's going. Right. I never. I mean, in the past, sure. Uh huh. People yeah. didn't have this concern because they needed the houses to be really oh. close to the main road, you know. Yeah. But nowadays, when I see people building literally next to the main road, then I still don't understand them. Mm -hmm. It's what they saw from their parents, but now the, the world changes. Uh, exactly. It will change slowly. Yes. Let's hope so. What is the biggest business in Romania? Is it the church? No. Yes, what is church. is something bigger than the church? Because we are pretty religious. Uh, we are the most religious country in Europe and also in the world, I believe, we are top. Yeah, we are top and... Uh, so that's why Christian Orthodox. Yeah. Like 90 something percent of the Romanians declare themselves Christian Orthodox. Mm -hmm. And so we are top. Here. They go to church in the Sunday and they give money because they collect money and yeah, I think this is the biggest business in Romania. Yes, in Romania, the uh, Orthodox Church as an institution, you know, since uh, they don't pay taxes, yeah. it's by far the most profitable. Every year mm -hmm. uh, brings in profits of hundreds of millions of euros. Every mm -hmm. year, hundreds of millions in profits. Yeah. Because they own so much land. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. properties and so on. Yeah. And then all these monasteries, you know, there's well, lots of people yeah, going, traveling to, and they offer, you know, so many things you can spend money on, even accommodation. Now, I'm, now I'm thinking, I think the pharmacy is the biggest. Well, if you will take it by Money, capital, obviously, yeah, pharmacies are... Pharmacy and after that church, because uh, I'm, I'm thinking now how they make money based on fear, uh, of, on people's fear, yeah? So, this is another people's fear, big fear. The death... Ah, this too is the, uh, combines the death, pharmacy with uh, religion. Yeah, so it's health and faith. Uh -huh. Health and faith, yeah people fear that they go to hell, uh -huh. they are afraid of dying. Yeah, because we have so many pharmacies now that, that I'm thinking, so many Romanians, and they are opening not like in uh, developed countries, they are opening just from one time to another. We have a full-time opening, we have... Uh, non-stop pharmacies non-stop yeah. pharmacies will have uh, which are non-stop but uh, pretty pretty high uh, opening hours or how you say yeah mm -hmm. lots of opening hours so yeah i think the pharmacy is strong mm 